<laughs> yeah, this is this is Lil McCullough. Yeah. <laughs> He's asleep. <laughs> He's retired. <laughs> Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Hey, Javon, aka Bubbles. Happy holidays for DJ Mario TV. Mwah. <laughs> Each one, teach one. Hi, my name is Ivana, and I'm the child life specialist here at Harlem Hospital. And I just want to thank Bob McCullough for coming and spending the holidays with the pediatric department at Harlem Hospital. We love that he comes every year to spread the holiday joy. Thank you again. Happy holidays and happy new year. Strap your seatbelts on and enjoy the ride. I do it front to back, back and front. Do it, do it any way you want. If you does it, I do it. My last song. I didn't even need no music. What's hard? And I'm back. Matter of fact, I never left. Just took a short break. For goodness sake, I had to fake my cake. Okay, okay, okay. New York City, Connecticut, Philadelphia. This is one of your favorite DJs. DJ Mario TV here on location at Harlem Hospital. The last Thursday before we go into 2018, I just wanted to give Brother Law Woods a shout out for reaching out to me and letting me know where to be at at the right place at the right time. And with that said, I'm down here with pediatrics and uh, helping each one teach one with the infamous Mr. Bob McCullough, his son, family, friends, Pee Wee Kirkland. Listen, when we come back from this commercial break, you're going to see for yourself and as I say in all my videos don't take my word for it so here we are in Harlem Hospital spreading some good news and some good energy here and I thank you so much for supporting my video out of all the videos you could be watching thank you so much and shout out to all those who supported me this year 2017 I'm looking to bigger and better things and hopefully you'll ride with me and if I can come out to your event to support your endeavors hit me up 646 206-8859 Zero six one six one two one two three zero zero five six six five. You can't reach me. You're really not trying. But thank you once again for watching. And may you live as long as you love and love as long as you live. This is DJ Mario TV. We'll be right back with more from Each One Teach One with Mr. Bob McCullough here at Harlem Hospital. and blessings family this is brother earl here once again at red lobster hosting freedom of speech open mic okay the night is phonetic phenomenal and fantastic the poets the artists the energy is just off the chain we hear each and Every Monday, not every Monday, every Monday tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend I mean this is like uh this is just like this is where you're supposed to be on Monday. I, I don't know where else you're supposed to be on Monday. The artist that, that performed is unbelievable, okay? I'm here and, and grateful for the assistance of Diamond Video, Believe in Yourself Video. I mean, uh, Wordstock, my boys, Barry and Reg. This is a conglomerate, a consortium of artists, activists, and just lovers of communal economics, man. And we here. And the only thing that's missing is you. Hope to see you next week. Right here at Red Lobster, right next to the Apollo. I'm Brother Earl. One. Uh, how you doing? Uh, Quentin Tyler from Ohalo's High School. 
you know, um, our school's motto has always been you earn, learn, you return. So felt like it was good to implement that motto in the season of giving. It's no better joy than seeing kids smile. So that's what I wanted to bring to them today. Thank you. Um, my name is Nicholas Johnson from Mohalas High School. Um, it feels good to give back to the kids and see the smile on their faces, um, knowing that they're going through a lot and that we can relate to them in a way. And um, it feels good to give back to the kids. Hey, Javon, a.k.a. Bubbles, happy holidays for DJ Mario TV. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> here at the Isaac Center on 116th Street and Lexington Avenue. We're here to promote and sort of support an event that's being held, basketball event. And I am going to introduce you to Latanya Ray, who is standing right here. Miss Ray, how are you? I'm doing well in yourself. Nice today. to talk to you again. Right, thank again, you. I'm Claudette for Believe in Yourself video. So tell me about this great event we're here in Harlem. Well, here we're here for Stand Against Violence in East Harlem. Right. Our catchment area is actually Johnson Projects right. and Taft Projects. Right. But we work all with East Harlem participants. And our main catchment is 16 to 24 year old youth. Right. Gang related or some type of way involvement in this area with highly at risk children. And right. our main focus is the highest at risk. Right. And so in talking to you earlier, your program also sort of accommodates young men who've been in problem with the, in problems with the law that had they have had problems either they have either been incarcerated right. or have a family member right. or they they live in this community right. and we're trying to change community norm okay without the community so you, you, you embrace them and you sort of give them sort of an outlet and you give them another way of seeing things and doing things to sort of uh, take the pressures off and you know, involve them in other Yes, things. we yes. also have our resource, which right. is GOSO, which right. stands for Get Out, Stay right. Out. They also go to the prison, they speak right. to the youth. Right. While they're in jail, we also have, we offer GED, right. OSHA, security, all types of things that they can do to keep them off the streets. Right, give us your number, please. Yes, my number is 1-347-209-8064. So this is a number people can call if they're interested in your program. Correct. Becoming members and sort of knowing more about your program. They are more than welcome to come, even if they have a friend yes. that they know or a parent that needs help with their child, they're more than welcome to and come in. And give us the address of your, where you're located. Save office is 91 yeah. East, 116th Street, between Park and Madison. And our referral program, GOSO, located at 71 East, 116th, and that's between Madison and Park Avenue. So you guys heard that. This was Latoya James. So you guys have to come out and support. And this is an event that's near and dear to everybody's heart. Yes, Hoops Against Violence. Right. Hi, my name is Janine Mayers, and I'm author of Infinite Love, The Pursuit book series. Happy holidays from DJ Mario TV. Okay, we have a special guest here. One is Fred Crawford from the New York Knicks and the LA Lakers from the NBA. And the other one is no other than a world famous playground legend. That's uh, Pee Wee Kirkland, and of course his partner on the court in the Rucker Pro Legends and the Rucker Pro Tournament is no other than the, the Destroyer, Joe Hammond. He's also here today. So first we hear from Pee Wee Kirkland. Yeah, Pee Wee Kirkland. And you know what? It's a wonderful thing to be here on Christmas. Every year if we can, as long as we can, to make these young kids and young adults smile. It's always good to come back. It's always good to get back. And, you know, Joe, seeing Joe, <laughs> every time I see him, we back at the backcourt again. Freddie Crawford, you know what I'm saying? Where the building block started, watching Freddie Crawford and, and Carl Green and the, before the Bruce Braggins, I mean, it's, the list goes up and the list comes back down. 
you know, Clinton and Ham in the backcourt. We watched them as kids, and all of a sudden we was on the court emulating them. We had become them, right? So it's just like I said, to come back and get back, and, and no matter how big our names get, they always be synonymous with the fact that Harlem all over the world and Rucker, the greatest reality in basketball, first street basketball, and for young people to be able to understand that the NBA is the pinnacle of the sport, and we respect that. But the game starts right on the streets, right at Rucker Park. God bless. Joe Hammond. Yes, I'm Joe Hammond. I'm here with the kids in Harlem Hospital. And some of the guys that raised me playing basketball myself. Guys like Freddie, Bob McCullough. I came up even on the peewee. I was a youngster playing with him. But uh, it's a beautiful thing, us being in Harlem, right here with the kids in Harlem, in Harlem Hospital. And I'm glad to be part of this. And I'm glad they're here too, even though I wish they wasn't in the hospital. And I thank Rucker, Bob McCullough, and Fred Crawford. Well, I, I certainly uh, echo this. I was here uh, seven, seven years ago on the 23rd of December when I was born here in Harlem Hospital. So uh, this is uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, all right, 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 right. All right. Wow. We didn't even know that. So thanks uh, for uh, being here. But I just want to mention they always don't tell how Bob could play, too. He's the, the commissioner. He'd be trying to slide. But uh, he was quite a baller, too. Take it out. Yeah, right, right, right. Give me the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now what we're going to do, we're going to have a picture with the family. Right, Marvin? That's my son. That's my son. Bend down. Marvin McCullough. He's coordinating this, so he wants the legends to give out the toys to the kids. We want to take the pictures, all right? Thank you very much. Thanks for everything. And thank you for being here. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's your girl Lunell here at the red carpet at the LOL Comedy Honors. Shout out to Tina Graham, the grand godmother of comedy, and DJ Mario TV. <laughs> hey, what's going on, y'all? Will Tracks, the voice of the city, just passing through. Just show the girl Shy Adams some love, you know what I mean? That's family, so much love to her. The clothing is nice, the kids is doing what they do. So I'm just here to support you. I know how I do it. Look out for me. I got the album coming out real soon. I'm back on track. You already know what it is. Real Tracks, The Voice All Cities, y'all. I'll see y'all soon. Holla. What up, DJ Mario? How you doing? Viva La Vie, Vanetta Schofield out here live. Just had a great set at Mocha's. I told y'all it is the best room to work out. It is great. It has improved me as a comedian, and I had a great time tonight. Shout out to Smokey so Suarez for having the room. Every Monday, we're here. Free comedy. We're lit. Shout out to DJ Mario. Um, yeah, man, the grind is real. Just keep going. Keep pushing. That's all I got to say, man. What's up? Hey, DJ Mario in the house. I'm Harlem. How you feeling, brother? I got to I'm sorry. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to rock. I'm going to be up there. All right? Trust me on that one. Peace. Hi, how you doing, Mario? Mario is the greatest. I love your music. You did my daughter to Christine. And I'm glad to see you at every Golden Globe, Globe, Golden Globe show. Bye. Love you. Hi. My name is Janine Mayers, and I'm author of Infinite Love, The Pursuit book series. Happy Holidays from DJ Mario TV. Uh, one of the things that we are uh, really proud of is to have one of the graduates of Each One Teach One to leave us and to go on to do bigger and better things. And that's no other than Stu Davis sitting next to me. He used to keep the statistics in the Rucker Pro League wow. and each one teacher and you had to keep everything yes. as rock yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, he went on now his godfather is no longer here Artie Georges who recommended him to us 
And I thought he was going to just be with us for a while. But uh, how many years did you stay with us? Uh, from 81 to now, really. Forever. <laughs> so you can see, he stayed, he stayed with us a long time. But then he went on to the New York Knicks to do stats and the clock. So I just want to hear from Stu Davis about the transition from the Rucker Pro League to the NBA with the Knicks. Stu Davis. Thanks. Um, the transition was originally from Rucker Pro and each one teach went in the park to Hunter College where he was working in the SEEK program and he recommended me to do the clock there. Um, so I was doing the clock at Hunter College where you recommended me from 87 to 2000. And so I was doing that and in between the time I was doing that, um, I was also offered to work at Madison Square Garden and do the clock there. Um, from I started in 1991, um, and um, I always at go at the garden. You started at the 19 garden in 1991. 1991, I was at the garden, but 87 was Hunter, and then 91, I was at the garden, um, and um, it's been 25 years now, um, and uh, each game is just you know with the knowledge that I got from being in the park um, in the hot sun and being out there from 8 o'clock a.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. <laughs> and game after game after game has prepared me I mean um, for for anything and everything I mean I've, I saw it all before I got there you know last second shots um, um, tight games, uh, competitive games, blowout games. You saw that in the park before I even got to um, Hunter College and the Garden. Um, so I was well prepared um, with all of that knowledge. Um, and then later on, I also ran my own basketball tournament with the same information that I was picking up on how to run a tournament um, by being in, in Rucker Pro each one, teach one every day. Um, so I got all that knowledge from being out there every day, um, from sun up to sundown, um, and in the rain, having to take those signs down, or put the signs up, and then take them down off the fence. Um, uh, that that was all an education in preparing me for where I'm at now. So, what about your experience with the Knicks? Oh. New York Knicks. Oh, it's 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 been awesome. I mean, when I first got there, we were always winning and we were always in the playoffs. Um, all eyes was on me, you know, all my family and friends were watching the game. Um, and, uh, um, you know, we just went through, like I said, when we got there, it was just, just awesome in that, you know, every game was highly competitive. Um, it was highly watched. We were the team to watch at the time along with the Bulls. Of course, we were the team to watch in the league, and it was, you know, it was when, it, when are we going to win one? And, um, you know, we came up short, but we were always knocking on that door. Um, been a little down now, but um, looking good this year. Look like we we working on something better. Well, that's good. The other thing I want to say is, uh, Fred Crawford, could you come over here for a minute? And thanks, dude. Uh, Fred Crawford, could you sit here for a minute? I just want to talk about three-on-three -three basketball because three-on-three uh, -three basketball is coming to uh, Rucker Park. It's coming to Rucker Park uh, this year, and we are going to partner with the United States Coast Guard. And we're happy to have Fred Crawford from the NBA to be in this partnership and we hope that the Coast Guard's uh, national tournament is a thorough success definitely and Freddie uh, I want you to give a message uh, to the Coast Guard on having a successful tournament and also invite them to three on three at Rucker Park this summer well, we, we want to say how much we appreciate the Coast Guard, all the armed services people, what they do, keeping us safe. 
uh, as in this world that we're in. So it's a real pleasure. On the good side, like uh, the commission said, we're looking forward to uh, checking out the Coast Guard tournaments, one of the bigger tournaments that they have in the services. And uh, they have an open invitation to come up to Rucker, Rucker Park and uh, we'll see what they got. Thank you. Okay, so that's the United States Coast Guard. We support you and we look forward to you having a successful tournament. That's coming from Rucker Park and the Rucker Pro Legends. We salute you and have a beautiful and successful tournament. I have people buying your book and calling you and asking you if you can, you know, ship them through three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books. That's this is what, what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm standing here with Sister Janine doing her thing. Infinite love. What yes. is infinite love? Infinite Love is a book series that pretty much gives us hope okay. that we can be involved in relationships that can last a lifetime. Okay. I find with our grandparents, they got married and it was forever. Right. With our generation, women, men tend to get married and jump in and out of relationships. So this is something I was hoping that would inspire people to work a little harder to right. stay together, the family unit. Right. Now you told me about a few of the characters in the book. It just seems very interesting because there seems to be a sisterhood. A group of women doing things and, you know, your way is not necessarily the right way or the wrong way, but people Correct. have ways in which, I mean, choosing your mate. A lot of women think that the guy who makes the most money is the guy that is perfect for you, but then that guy could be the guy that beats your ass. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So then the objective is, is really connecting spiritually and mentally with someone. And building. And building. Sacrificing. Right. right. And... and Sister, sometimes, I mean, what always looks pretty is not pretty. And it's quite obvious. If a guy wants you, you know he wants you. If he doesn't want you, I mean, they're the they're gonna, telltale they're gonna, sign. They're going to put in the work. Right. You know, if I you really want... I always say actions want, speak louder than oh, words. Oh, absolutely. So if he acts like he loves you, it's a good chance he loves right. you. If he says it all the time but doesn't act like it, it's right. a great you chance. You have to then. walk the walk. You know, you can't absolutely. only talk the talk. Absolutely. So, you know, if you're holding on to something that's not there, let, let it, it go. go. <laughs> <laughs> this is your girl Claudette and with Janine, with the author. Janine How Mayors. Can people? How you can, can people reach you? You Janine? can reach me Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Janine Worldwide, right. and you can get the book in ebook or paperback on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles. This looks very interesting. I'm going to get me a copy because I have to really read out, a, read up about this whole thing and to figure out what's going on. Absolutely. Because you know, I don't know about anybody else, but I want infinite love. And you want a good lad. And a good, and, and a good man. And a good man. You know, yes. I don't want anybody that I don't want to fly. No by users, no, no abusers. Somebody who's dedicated, yeah. focused, ambitious. Somebody who cares. Patient. That too. Tender. Patience. Tender. Right. There's a lot of things. And again, us women have to give Somebody who likes thing. biscuits? Absolutely. Right. With, with gravy. With gravy? Yeah. Shrimps and grits. <laughs> the fried chicken and collard greens. <laughs> I'm the skinniest fat girl you ever go feed. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Janine, I really love what you're doing. Thank and you. And kudos Thank to you. you whenever you find a sister who is doing things and inspiring other sisters. Thank you. I appreciate it. You need to be it. promoted. Thank you. I appreciate right? it. And I Absolutely. appreciate you. And you guys heard it. You want to give a shout out to anybody else? I want to give a shout out to all of my friends in the Bronx, where I'm born and raised. Boogie down Bronx. As well as Brooklyn and Harlem. Brooklyn and the house. And Queens and Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia. Yes. The peaches. The peach tree. That's yep. where my mom is. I love I you, know. mom. Well, you guys heard it. This is our girl, Janine. And this is your girl, Claudette, for DJ Mario TV and Believe in Yourself video. Peace out. Peace out. This is Frank the Cameraman wishing you a happy birthday from Frank the Cameraman and DJ Mario TV. Well, once again, we are still here in Harlem Hospital. We're finalizing our visit here in Harlem Hospital. And I just want to end up by thanking all Hollows High School for participating in the toy and the gift giveaway at Harlem Hospital for the children who cannot be home for the holidays. 
So we provide an opportunity for them to enjoy gifts and presents while they're in the hospital. And I just want to thank the coach of All Hollows, who happens to be my son. But I'm really proud of him because he asked some of his players to actually witness what it is that we do in each one teach one and what it is that the Rucker Pro Legends do. We are world known, we are internationally known as a summer professional basketball league where the NBA stars played against playground legends. And of course you know the story the playground legends beat the NBA stars. But of course there was a time when the great Julius Irvin came on the scene and, and a lot of that changed. But anyway, we've had Wilt Chamberlain, we've had the Knicks, the MVP, Willis Reed, we've had Earl the Pearl Monroe. We've had a lot of the players to play in the Rucker. But right now, we concentrate on the high school division. And during the summer, my son, Marvin McCullough, is one of the assistant commissioners of each one, teach one high school tournament in Rucker Park. So I just want to just introduce him and have him say a few words about All Hollows High School participation in this gift and the presence a giveaway to children in the hospital that won't be home for the holidays. Marvin McCullough. Thank you. Uh, I come from a, a, a long line of, of guys who've, who've given back you know, and most of the guys have been raised by my father. I'm his youngest child, you know, so there's a whole bunch of guys that came before me. And what these guys have taught me is, you know, to give back to the less fortunate. You know, even if, you know, you feel that you are one of the less fortunate, there's always someone out there that's even less fortunate than you are. Okay, and this is what I try to preach to uh, my players and you know pretty much anybody that I come across that I can you know grab their air you know they respect the words that you know that come out of my mouth you know um, and it's it's about giving back you know you can you can get you can receive but I think it's uh, more beneficial more and you appreciate more things once you start to give and you see the reaction you know from the people who you give to um, I've been blessed to be the, the head coach at Ohio's High School for, I believe, the past five years. Uh, time passes by. <laughs> but uh, just just to see the guys who come back and thank me and, you know, things like that, that's what's beneficial for me. You know, um, the wins and losses are not, you know, everything that comes with the game. Plus, we put more than basketball you know, into, you know, these guys, which is the reason why these guys uh, come out and, you know, they take money out of their pockets or their parents' pockets to give back to the community, which is probably not their own, you know, just giving back. Uh, this is our second year. Uh, I had a had three other guys who, who came last year to give back. One, he was actually uh, a patient here at Harlem Hospital the year before. So it was it was really a blessing for him to come back and, and give to some to some children that were in the same position as he was. But we have some uh, some brand new guys, some young guys, Nick Johnson and uh, Quentin Tyler, you know, guys who played varsity basketball at Ohio's High School. Uh, we're just coming off a, a victory last night against a big powerhouse Malloy and you know, they're, they're back out giving the kids. So that, that says a lot, you know, about the person, about the people that they are, you know. Um, and that's pretty much it. And, and I guess we'll have them say a few words by the, the commissioner. Um, 
Well, seeing uh, my coach and his fellow peers give back to the um, children here at Harlem Hospital is um, it's big and it's very important. It shows like um, how we are at Ohalo's, like we're a family and we give back to the people in need. Um, at this point, it's bigger than basketball. It's about the kids and it just feels good to give back to the less fortunate. Uh, Quentin Tyler, um, you know, the person that set a precedent in my life of giving back was the former commissioner of Rucker Park, who was my uncle, Greg Marius, and until his dying breath, this man was just trying to help others, so it feels good to, you know, follow in his footsteps in the season of giving and giving back to the less fortunate kids, so the opportunity was handed to me and I took it immediately. Well, thank you. And uh, you uh, picked up a prize here. <laughs> Greg Maris' nephew. Now, that's really something else, man. Pleased to meet you. Congratulations, you know. I, I work with your uncle. Yeah. We had different days. And I brought him up to the Rucker originally. But he went one direction, I went another direction. But we always try to work together. But anyway, um, in terms of his uncle Greg Maris, uh, the basketball court in Rucker Park is named after his uncle, which is Greg Maris Court. And it is deserving because Greg Maris did a whole lot for the reputation of the park. A lot of players like Kobe and uh, Shaq, a lot of players came up and uh, Kevin Durant scored, what, 68 points? He came up and played, but he didn't break Joe's record. Joe was there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and he had the president, the former president of the United States, Bill Clinton, to come up to Rucker Park and the commissioner of the NBA to come up to Rucker Park. So, I mean, uh, Greg Maris did a lot to uh, publicize the name of Rucker Park. And of course, there was a, uh, a television uh, video, a television movie about Rucker Park. So anyway, uh, I'm glad that you're with my son, because there, there is a connection here. But anyway, uh, I want to uh, thank everybody, Mercedes and Joe and Dave Parham. Where's Dave Parham? Right, okay. And uh, that, young, that pretty young lady right there, <laughs> Jamie. And uh, where's her son? Is he still asleep? Yeah, well, they took they took his picture. <laughs> Macal, Jamie, McCullough, they took his picture. Plus, he's being announced right now. So, there's evidence. <laughs> so, anyway, I want to thank Fred Crawford. I want to thank Pee Wee Kirkland, uh, Joe Hammond, all right, and Stu Davis. Okay, and yes, of course, Harlem Hospital. They're on their way out, but thank you, Harlem Hospital. All right. I, I'm trying to get them to go home. I'm, I'm trying. Look, look. This was a great. Okay, okay. The, come on, Mario. Once again, Mario, you off the hook. You know, um, I'm going to work, Mario, though, on giving you a script. Because you didn't follow the script all the time. But, oh, but the music was off the hook. Somebody said to me that was the best party they've been to in a long time. And that's because they old like I am. And he played the old jams and everybody knew the words to. So hip, hop, that's all right. Salome, we love you. Happy birthday, baby. Thank you. And all the best. All right. Oh, oh the doctors to be. Come on. Come on, go close, go close. Happy birthday, Auntie. You're fabulous. You're 70. You're beautiful. And I'm happy that I was here to celebrate it with you. And I wish you 
many, many more. <laughs> Are you ready? It's DJ Mario. F U N spell. DJ Mario and Video! 212-714-7188 Happy Holidays from DJ Mario TV! Well, New York City, that concludes our show. I uh, just want to say thank you once again to uh, Brother Law Woods. Uh, happy Kwanzaa to those who uh, celebrate uh, Kwanzaa. And uh, happy holidays. And may everyone have a prosperous new year. 2018 is around the corner. And if you're watching this, chances are you may know of me or you may even probably see me back here, here and there. Sometimes I hang out at Red Lobsters on Mondays and Wednesdays with DJ Ronnie D singing a couple of songs. We do karaoke Wednesdays there. And that's uh, Red Lobsters next to the Apollo Theater. But I just want to say thank you so much. It's been a great year. Shout out to Believe in Yourself Video, Claudette St. Rose. Shout out to Michelle Lee of Diamond Video Fitness Photography, Dean Memminger over at uh, Spectrum, uh, my brother from another mother, uh, uh, Fox, uh, <laughs> Mike Woods over at Fox 5 doing the weather. He's been doing this so long and I'm, I'm so proud of you, Mike, for holding it down. And I know what's go down is over there behind closed doors and I just want to say keep your chin up, do what you have to do, and prove everybody wrong. But with that said, thank you once again. 2018 is going to be bigger and better here in Harlem at Harlem Hospital on location. And I'm so blessed to be leaving this place on my own two feet. So those who are here in the hospital and can't leave, uh, my blessings and my prayers are going out to you and to your family. May you get stronger. May you live longer. And may 2018 be bigger and better for you. So this is DJ Mario TV. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my uh, next video. Peace.